I'm S. Chandra Prakash, uh, Advertising and Commercial Photographer. I'm based out of Chennai and my studio is in Ananaga West. And I normally, for the 25 years, I'm into advertising and commercial photography. Normally when, from the starting from the basics, uh, the way I learned, whomever the photographer I assisted, actually everybody can handle both products and model. So I worked with Sashikant here, he's one of the best when I was working with him. I finished off my diploma in film technology, then I, got, then I went, to, went to Shashikant in the beginning. So when Shashikant was very good a product and a model photographer and after Shashikant I just moved to Satyajit. The Satyajit used to do a lot of automobile photography and after that I went to Mumbai and I, I assisted Mr. Ishrar Qureshi and Ishrar Qureshi is so good in products and in fashion. So when I come and started here, I got a very good opportunity of handling from other than aerial I can do everything. That is what. So the basics what actually you form, that is something very important how you can carry out this. Actually, when it comes to the investment in photography, to be very frank, in this kind of a time, I just advise you not to invest on any kind of an equipment. The basic thing is your portfolio. And more than a portfolio, what the knowledge that you gain through another photographer. Because everything is available for rental here and hire here. Okay, just go, hire the equipments, hire a studio, whatever that you want to shoot, shoot, build your portfolio, approach an agency. Because when you started going and approaching an agency or a photography, there are two ways that you can approach. One is through an agency and one is through a direct clients. No direct clients will come and give you work in the instantly in the beginning. So it's best go connected with an agency. When you go connected with an agency, you can find a lot of creative minds there. Okay, when you connect with the creative mind, they already have a layout what actually you need to do. So they will tell you very clearly, this is what I want. Okay, be very clear whether you got the technique, you know how to handle that. If you really don't know how to handle that, be very, very clear that I can't handle this and come out. If you can handle, just tell them that I will. And more than that, all creative people, they know very well what is actually your worth and they will give you the work what you can do. Don't have a second thought going and approaching an agency. Just go approach your agency and start your work. Somebody wants to be a photographer, um, the basic element what actually he needs to do is his training. Okay. The first thing, there are, there are a lot of different photographers one, they finish off their studies. There are, there are a lot of people who just go to Brooks and study photography and come back and start here. Okay, there are a lot of people who is in Mumbai, they, they are there from Brooks. Okay, then, and another one more thing, there are a lot of institutes available. Okay, there is, there is one inst very good institute available here in OT, that Iqbal Sars Institute is available for photography. You can get it trained there. But whether there are a lot of very good people who doesn't have this kind of basic formal education in photography and they become a very big photographer and one of the top photographers. So whatever, whether it is a, it is a studies or whether it is a training, it happens only through the person whom you join and you do your work. So the best thing for you to, as soon as you finished off, you, you are selected, you want to do photography, look for a very good photographer and start working as an assistant and start learning. This learning brings a very good foundations for you. The learning will make you very strong. The learning will make you technically very sound because whatever the thing that you are learning in photography, it is just a physics. Okay, the physics is what that you are learning. When it comes to light, okay, you will you turn you learn a lot about lighting and nothing is spoon feed here. Okay. So if you go and work with any photographer, no photographer has got to time to spoon feed. So your theory part and the practical part, everything should go online, okay, in line with everything. So when you start, they will, when, when, you, when you go and experience any kind of a shoot, so when you know exactly what is actually the basics of lighting, you can perfectly connect and learn. This connect and learn will help you to approach all other things and from that you will get benefited. From the one six months will be very tough to understand because there are a lot of equipments available 
because when when a, when a normal photographer's work, he, he works with that Elaine Chrome lights. So when you see the photographers in Bombay, they got a studio which there is not in any way less than a studio in New York. Okay. They have a very huge studio with power pack lights and all kind of a setup. So the main basic thing what I want to tell is make your foundation very very strong. If you want to be a photographer, go join with a very professional photographer whom you admire and work minimum for 3 to 5 years with them.